All right, we've got a note-taking app, and it's got persistent data. Um, we've refactored it to make it, you know, kind of work how we want it to work. Um, we could reuse some of this code in in other areas, um, but let's 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 think a little bit about how it looks to the to the user and the user interface. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into this, but I'll just give you a couple things that can make your app uh, just kind of look more like a real like a real app. So one thing is, you'll notice there's this screen name, and that's a real easy one to change. Just choose screen over here, and you can change the whoops, change the name. I'm going to call this guy uh, Dave's Twitter app. Okay. So you can kind of name your app what 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 you want it. Um, you can also give it an an icon. Um, so I'm going to go and let's see. Let me see if I can download a. Let's just steal Twitter's icon. How about that? So you can download any image you want. Um, of course, this is highly illegal, but I'm going to save this image as um, twitter.jpg in my downloads. Okay, cool. Now if I go back over here and let's minimize this window. If I go back to my App Inventor screen and I can click on icon and add and browse and I think I did that in downloads um, and I'm going to choose um, twitter.jpg, there it is okay and that's going to be the icon for my app okay and you don't see anything yet but I'm going to go ahead and package for phone download to connected phone so when when the app is downloaded and you know when you look at your apps um, in in the uh, in Android um, when you click on this thing so here's all my apps so instead of just showing kind of the ugly app inventor icon it'll show in this case the Twitter icon but you can put any any icon you want and just realize it's going to come out square so that's kind of kind of another thing uh, a couple other things um, buttons these are these are real ugly by default um, you can change them to images it takes a little work right you've got to go in Photoshop and kind of make images with the text already appearing there and then what you do is you just choose an image for your button right um, you know for instance if I chose Twitter for my button you know there's my submit button now <laughs> okay so that's probably not the the best thing but um, you could certainly make your okay. So my app is downloaded to your to my phone, but um, I'm gonna say okay there. Just let me say okay, and then so it's back to back to the way it was. Um, but what I want to show you on buttons, so you could either make them image buttons. There's also shape here, so I can choose like rounded um, on my submit button, and uh, let's see. Let's bring my app back up. Actually, I think it's already running the, the tester. Um, but if I go to, if I hit home, well, let's go ahead and reconnect to, to the emulator. So anyway, while that's reconnecting, let me show you the uh, the note taker app. Oh, here it is. So here's my note taker. Wrap. So, so when I set the icon for the app to um, Twitter, so now when I download the app, it shows up like that. So whatever icon you want, you can make you know some nice icon for for your app. And when I click that, it'll run the app. So anyway, here's my this is gonna do the live testing app for me, so I can test my other stuff. So the buttons, um, it's a little weird. I clicked on you know for the submit button. I wanted a rounded rectangle, and on the emulator it shows up. It doesn't show up. This is a bug in App Inventor. It doesn't show up um, in the designer. So I could do the same though with my delete uh, item, and uh, you know, let's just make that one oval. 
Okay, so and things are looking a little better. I mean, a little color can help. So um, for the background color, I don't know, blue, then you might want to change the text um, to, uh, let's see, font size, font bold, background color. Oh, text color, sorry. Let me make that uh, white. like gray yeah, it looks a little better so you know this is looking a little better so kind of kind of making your your buttons rounded and then also you know playing around with the color and whatnot can make them make them look a, a little better okay the other thing I want to show is these screen arrangements so I'm going to add a horizontal arrangement and this just allows you to if you want things to kind of line up so if, let's say I wanted to put my all my input like like this. Um, I think this just reset. So there it goes. Okay. So notice now my submit button's a little to the to the right, which is a little better, and then things go from there. Um, you know, when I enter a note right now, it looks a little bit funny. You know, it's so far over to the left. So the other thing I'll do is I'll take this notes list label. Here it is right here. I'm going to add another horizontal arrangement. And what I want to do is stick my notes list label in there. Okay, then I'm going to stick another label in. And this label is just going to be for, for space, spacing purposes. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of the text on it. And I'm going to give it a width of, I don't know. 20 pixels. Okay, so now my notes at least are a little bit tapped over, if you, if you want to think about it that way. Uh, this doesn't look great right now, but, you know, at least at least you can see how you could do spacing. You know, the app inventor doesn't, you know, the centering kind of works sometimes, but they don't have, like, CSS where you can kind of say how things should, should appear. Um, and it looks like this delete, I, I, it's just a little too big, so, so one thing we could do is kind of make, make it smaller, so let's just give it 10 point font, so that, that, that at least makes the delete a little less noticeable. Um, I'm also just going to, just let's just go to rounded for him too. Okay, so, you know, this is making things look a little better. Obviously you could put some, you know, some images and, and some things to make things look 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 really really much much better but I just want to give you a taste of the things that you can do to to make your app look like a, a real app